Hi guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. Um, we're going to be looking at yellow today. Now, yellow, if you've watched all the previous um, episodes in this series, we've covered quite a lot because, you know, when we look at the colour wheel, we've had yellow was the complementary to violet, it was also in the triad for red. It's also in the triad for blue, so we have covered a lot of this stuff for yellow already. But what I want to try and do today is see well how you could actually be painting something yellow rather than, you know, mixing lots of different colours. And what I thought would be a good idea here is, um, as you can see here, I've, I've done the standard pressure progression from yellow through black, yellow through white. As we add white to yellow, we do end up with these nice mixing colours, like we're getting into pale yellow, you would get something very similar to ice yellow. So that's a thing to bear in mind that when you're painting, if you if you see these names of colours like ice yellow, pale yellow, you don't have to have the specific bottle. Quite quite often they're just the primary colour with white. So if you've got any sort of yellow and add white to it. You know, you can really end up with um, you know some some colours that are pretty close and would do you what you need. So let's have a look at the first thing is the primary, um, the complementary colour of yellow, which is violet. Now we've already done violet before, um, and as you can see, if we mix the two together, we are going to end up with this sort of. We we'll try and keep it down, but this again we end up with a nice sort of brownie, a yellowy brownie colour. Which, which is a really nice colour on its own. And now we could start adding yellow to that to have the first of our progressions which would be building up a yellow tone but this quite a muddy brownish yellow tone. Now we can go keep going with yellow because this actually works quite nice with this colour. Um, but as we get near the end of the transition, then we could start adding in ice yellow, pale yellow, and we could get a really nice highlight tone out of this. So in terms of a, a dirty brownish muddy yellow, you know that would work really well, and you know it, it would work cool for like military models, um, something that's a bit more desaturated and a bit more sort of dour looking, I suppose. Um, so that's violet, but we can also go slightly differently. Um, so, you know, violet and purple are quite close together on the colour wheel. It's just literally a little bit more red than blue to create what we call a, you know, a normal purple that we might find in some paint ranges. So I've got more of a pinky purple here, more of a reddy purple. And this gives us a slightly different tone. Um, it's much more on that rich reddish brown sort of look now. Which is really, I mean this sort of tone, you know, I've said it before, if you're painting NMM golds and things like this, this would work really well. You know, it'd be a lovely tone to have as one of your mid-tones or shadow colours. And from that we can do some really nice you know, sort of, it's sort of muddy, but it's a it's a nicer, richer yellow than the one we had previously. Um, and again, the, the progression is going to be very simple. We're just going to add more yellow, and at some point, we're going to add more whitish tones, which is what we're going to end up with with most of these colours, because yellow is is very high in value, it's very bright, so the only real way to highlight yellow is by adding white or very you know much higher value colours and the only higher colour in the whole sort of spectrum of colours is probably going to be white. White or as I'm using here an ivory. You know that's that's the only way you're gonna really be able to highlight yellow. As for shading, this is where you can make yellow much more interesting and this is what we're trying to show here the circle of colors we're going to end up with here 
is much more interesting for the shading colors than the highlight colors with yellow. Um, before with other colors, it was very much looking at, we were looking at progressing upwards in value because those colors are already of a, a dark enough value where we can just lighten them up to get really nice tones. With very light tones like yellow, it, we can really only really show the shading. So, but we can get some very nice colors. So the other colors we've got on the color wheel with yellow, the, for instance, with the, with the triad that we have with yellow, is going to be red. So, and of course, we've really already covered this because what we're going to end up with is an orange. And again, if we just keep adding yellow to that, we'll just get lighter and lighter oranges. So. I won't cover this too much, we've already sort of looked at this, but we're just going to get progressively more yellowy oranges and, and it's just going to go all the way to yellow and maybe beyond that. But we, we can vary those colours. Um, one of the interesting ones to do, you know, there's, we also have yellow, um, green and blue. So we know yellow and blue makes green so we've already got that color um, but this is an opportunity where we can take colors so one thing I I quite like doing is mixing some of these colors so if we take a yellow and a bit of green obviously we're going to get a very light green color but now if we add a little bit of blue one of the other colors we start getting this real sort of minty pea green color which is a much nicer color and then we can literally just add yellow as our highlight color to that and we can just get brighter and brighter more of a sort of richer green color as you see that's that's gone quite greenish so we can add white as well and we can change that tone again to get a slightly different highlight color. Now we're getting into more of those sort of minty cold greens that work really well. But we could also do that the same but this time we will go more down the blue path. And again there's, there's other things we can do here. So if we go more down the blue path looks very similar at the moment but it will really start to change actually this is probably a better colour to put that on instead but this will change more as we add yellow to it so now we get a sort of slightly more bluish tone and if we add our whiter colours to that now with that yellow. Now we can start getting these really interesting bluish colors, which I, the thing is once we've done all these colors, we're starting to replicate and duplicate a lot of what we've already done because these mixes have already happened in pre previous color theories. Um, but yeah, really nice light blues. Again, very different colors that we can create using our yellow um, and combinations of colors that's when I'm thinking about a yellow right I, I think of the the type of background I want to that yellow so quite often if we want that sort of warmer looking yellow you know we're going to add maybe some orange to it we could maybe add a little bit of that the original purple and now we'll start getting these sorts of colors and again a really rich orangey yellow and we can further expand on that if we add a little bit more of the purple and then more yellow we just start uh, these are more sort of realistic yellowy tones that we could find and again, we'll just add more yellow to that. And that would just progress into these really nice yellow tones. 
See that yellow there is a really nice yellow. I, I love that yellow. It's really cool. Um, the other yellow I really like, one I use very, very often, and quite often I'll use it, especially as you've seen already when I'm painting reds, is what we might call pistachio. So pistachio is just a little hint of green in that yellow. I've probably gone too far there. Like I say, it's just a hint of yellow in there. We're going to need a bit more yellow, I think. So, yeah, if you ever look at pistachio, the colour pistachio, I can show you the bottle. It's, it's this colour here. And it's definitely a sort of greeny yellow. We, we do get a very sort of greeny yellow tone out of it. But again, this sort of progression is very, it's a beautiful colour. It, it's a really nice colour for highlighting. So if you're, if you're painting something, especially reds, you know, if you're painting red colours, this works really nice because you're adding yellow, but you're all, also adding green, which is the complement of red. So there we have it for today, guys. It's not there's not a lot I can show in this one. This one's a little bit shorter, um, but like I say, a lot of the reason is we we've covered a lot of these colours already. So um, as we progress through, we're going to get a lot of crossover, and you're going to watch these videos and say, "Oh, he's already done that. I've already seen that." So I'll try and make them a bit shorter it, um, as I go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know if there's any sort of colours or combinations of colours you'd like to see me explore. And we can do videos on those too. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.